When it comes to e-ink typewriters, there aren't many options. In fact, there's two. There's the FreeWrite, which has two different models. The Typewriter, which is the big, bulky, heavy one. And the FreeWrite Traveler, which we will be drawing many comparisons and parallels to because it's the only other one around. There, however, is a new player in town, and that is King Jim. King Jim has surprised us with not one, not two, but three e-ink products in such a short span of time coming out of Japan, all of which are in English. This is the Pomera. This is a foldable clamshell keyboard and it is completely portable with an e-ink screen. It's all in one tiny package and it's actually shorter than an average smartphone. This thing runs off of two types of batteries, a CR2032 watch battery in the back and two AA batteries in the back here. The reason they use AA batteries is because it actually makes this easier to ship and all markets can get this without any sort of DG. DG is considered dangerous goods and very few couriers and postal services actually allow you to ship things that are DG. This thing is quite nice, it's built with very high quality materials and there's rubber basically on every single part of this device. And when you open it up, you do have an auto start and these legs pop out, you can see as you put it down, the legs start to actually pop out. So as you put this down, you get the stand and it just stands automatically and it's all ready. There is no sense in closing the clamshell when the keyboard is open because it can't fold after that. But with the screen open, you do get a very nice folding action. And you can see right here, it is a very tight hinge. It's not loose whatsoever. You do have to put some force behind it in order to close it. And that's good because loose hinges mean things are gonna fall under their own gravity, under their own weight. And that's not what you want. You want something with a little bit of power. These hinges are very high, quality and they're very tightly built which is really nice. Starting this off you can start typing right away. Type away. You can press enter to go to the next step. You can press backspace to go back. You can go shift if you want to highlight things. All that is very easy and simple. What does make this a little bit different is that it has no touch screen so navigating can be a little bit of a trick. We assume there will be very few English reviews of this, so we'll try to touch on everything if we can. Pressing the menu option opens up your top menu. You have the ability to do very simple things that you can do on any Word document, Microsoft Word, WordPad, etc. That is new, open, save, save as, copy, move, and close. You can move things around from the device storage to the SD card if you wish, or you can just completely do everything on the six gigabytes of internal storage that you have here. And because this is all e-ink documentation, that's more than enough, we think. You can open all your documents right here in the main memory. We have just some test stuff we use like this. It'll just open it right up. You can go back to the menu like this and then go over to edit. It does have copy, paste, etc., but you can actually use your keyboard as well. You can see the cursors right there. We can highlight a bunch of stuff and we can go control X, control V all day long. So the simple keystrokes that we're all used to do still work on this. So don't think that because this is more of an e-ink system delivery that those aren't going to work. They, they do work and all the shift keys work as well, as well as control, alt, etc. So we have paste, you can paste everything that you've copied to the clipboard via control C, but you don't need to worry about that, you can just go control V. You can find certain words, or if you want, yes, you can go control F, and that will be the same thing, it'll just automatically go to find, so you don't have to worry about always going to the menu for those. And as you use this, you'll start to get used to it, and you'll know all the keystrokes to all the places you want to go. You can do replace, so you can basically replace anything with anything by going to replace, and you can go to line as well. Template, you can make your own templates. You can go here and basically create what you want, top, bottom. You can ha have footers, you can have headers, what have you, that you do have that option to do so. For the technical people, you might care about character palette. This is when you press shift and you press a different type of number, you can get these different characters. Now, a lot of them are obviously alphanumeric, but there will be some Japanese ones that are already pre-coded into the system because this is primarily a Japanese device. This is really just for the technical people. If you're so keen on looking at that, go for it. Otherwise, you don't really have to focus too much on that as it's not going to change your life. Timestamp is just the formatting. You can change years, 
month, day, year, day, month, and a combination of a whole bunch. You can even use the old school Japanese kanji characters if you're so inclined to do so. This is some stuff that you might find useful. They have dictionaries, English to Japanese, Japanese to English, and there is some content on their website as well. QR code is to share your documents. So you can scan it with your phone and it shows up on your phone. Extremely easy to trigger. Just open up your Google Lens or something, point it at the screen, click on it, and then it will literally tell you right away this is a template text one test one etc that's exactly what we're writing right now so at any given time what you are writing on the device itself you can send over to your phone copy text and you can email it to yourself you can translate it into another language so you basically have all of the connectivity that you would want without any wi-fi enabled on the device itself because you're relying on your phone most Japanese devices have calendars on them. They really have a keen thing of staying on top of things. So you can open up your calendar and it just goes day by day. It's all very intuitive because you just use the arrow keys and the enter key respectively. Meeting. Enter. Press back. You have a little dot. It has saved your note on that particular day. Table is very, very interesting. And this is cool because you now have Excel level of access with this unit it's very cool you can write like that you can go to the next cell you can do numbers and you can do copy and paste as well so that's all very nice and you have this beautiful little table here you can do rows you can utilize any keystrokes just like you would in the text portion over on this excel-esque version as well you can open any one that you've already made as well by going to Excel doc. This is one we just made and you can say, no, I don't want to save. And there's all your previous ones. We bought Cheerios and Twizzlers at two different places on two different dates with two different costs. Just a little example for you guys. But it's very nice that you get this level of access on a device that you doesn't really have any particular OS or any sort of Android or Linux based operating system. It's just kind of its own. Now, elephant in the room is that this is e-ink. So if you ever do have too much staining on the screen, you can go over to view and then go down to refresh and that will kick it into a full refresh and clear everything. Alternatively, if you don't want to do 16 keystrokes to refresh the screen, just press F12. Heading over to type, you can go to font size. Font size is very nice because it shows you examples of Japanese, English, numbers, and a bunch of different character styles. So you can get a good idea of what your font size is going to look at. You also have control character. You can do new line mark, tab mark, space mark, and there'll be different symbols accordingly. Going down to punctuation convert, you can do the dot. That's more like now this is really just going to be in Japanese because this style of question mark, period, comma, and exclamation mark, less to the exclamation mark, are mostly in line with how the Japanese write their sentences. We just use a full dot. They use kind of an open circle for their dot. Try to show you as much as we can without dragging on here. Date and time is just date and time. Power management is a little bit important. They always ask you if you're using alkaline batteries or Eneloop. I'm not sure why, because they're really the same format, voltage, and size. But if you are using regular batteries, just set it to regular batteries to avoid any problems. You have auto power off open power on and you can have the screen as the last thing you've written or just the screen off when it turns off file management you do have full size sd card or main memory and there's a bunch of other things here the default screen calendar etc going down to password you can set a password we're not going to do that key settings you can do shortcut key key binding key lock and key assignment is huge because you can assign a whole bunch of things to the keys on the keyboard the insert button, default settings, etc. Going down to language, you do have two language options, Japanese or English. Help is help, format deletes everything, and about DM30 is just the privacy policy and a little bit of information uh, regarding how much space you have, etc. There's a few more things you can do. You can choose grid, which isn't really a grid. It's mostly just lines they mean, so you can see how you're typing on your lines. You can enable or disable that. Frame isn't actually frame, it's more margins. So for example, we choose two and we go over here and we choose 33. 
you'll see that it really just shoots the margins in from the side and makes the line thickness a little bit higher. You can change it horizontal or landscape as well. The only reason you'd ever want to do this, in English at least, is because you can write your little story and then you can read it like a book. No, this won't do anything. And you can't change pages here, but it's kind of cool because it looks like a book. However, the actual reason is because in Japanese, you can actually write left to right, which is the North American way, or you can actually write top to bottom, which is the traditional way. So that's really why they put vertical there. Another totally radical thing is monochrome inversion, which yes, if you guessed it, inverts the colors throughout the entire device. This is really cool because now as you type, type away, you are typing with white characters on a black screen, which is very, very easy on your eyes and it looks great. If you think that's the end of it, you are mistaken. There is a user manual that is 149 pages long, I kid you not. It is so big it's actually bound at the back, it's not just simply a little leaflet or a pamphlet. It is so large and contains so much information, it would boggle your mind how many features this device holds. Most if not all of this is going to just apply to people that read, speak Japanese, or live in Japan. Sides from some English in the book, but 99% of it is Japanese. All of these added features, all of these really cool things you can do is just for the Japanese crowd, unfortunately. For the English crowd, however, this does still hold a great deal of value. And to be completely honest, if you put this up against the free write, this is way better. You get more flexible of a design, you get a full-size keyboard in a much smaller shell, you get a huge screen compared to the free write. It's way quicker, it's more compact, and more importantly, it's available now. There's never out of stocks, there's no fundraising, and there's no flywheel design business. This is from a very big company in Japan called King Jim, and they ship anywhere in the world through good e-reader. This is fully in English and it's fully available anytime you want it. It may not have speakers in an Android OS, but that's not what this is about. This is truly an absolutely distraction-free, Wi-Fi-free, lithium-ion-free approach to e-ink typewriting, and this one does it the best. For goodereader.com and a full review of the Pamera by King Jim, this is Peter.